Hello everybody. How are you today? Hope you're doing well. It's Laura here. We are going to do an interesting little color combination today. I hope it turns out nice. Uh, I'm going to start with, this is going to be my new favorite colors along with um, Harvest Gold Cunig and Brulee. So I'm going to kind of put these out more in a radial bloom today. So not right on top of each other kind of surrounding each other kind of just overlapping a little bit we're gonna see what we got that was harvest gold this is atelier thalo turquoise one of my new favorites Here comes the Cunag. Boy, that paint, that pillow is really thin today. Put some of the Cunag. I want that all over it. Here we have Sea Glass. Maybe we'll go all over with this too. Let that be the lighter color that shines through. And then we have our brulee, which is new to me. I have not used it before. It is a um, an interference with copper in it. And get that all over. We're gonna pop our bubbles. I'm stirring my Excel activator very good because it can separate when it sits, so you want to stir it really really good I'm going to pop that down in the center then I'm going to try something slightly different today I'm going to use my big hair blower to get that center push Didn't really make much of a difference. And now I'm going to use the little one to blow it over. Yeah, this pillow is way too thin. I don't know what happened to it. I just, I decanted my bottles and put them into different um, containers. And this one is really, really thin. We'll see what happens here. I'm not thrilled with this. I really need to leave that one open and let it thicken up. That's what you can do with your uh, pillow paint that is too thin. Just leave it open, let it uh, 
evaporate a little bit. All right, we're going to modify. Now I kind of wish I hadn't done the radial bloom. So we will try another in a minute. Although this is pretty beautiful colors together. Let's spin it out. I'm going to grab another tile. Okay. Let's get some of this right here. Put it, oh, this is pretty. I like it. I like it. I'm going to pull it over this way some. You can see I have a lot of paint coming off of there because that pillow was so thin. Oh, I actually like it. I wasn't liking the look of it to begin with. Let me get some more of that off. Okay, this was a good color choice. There we go. A little more right there to be gotten rid of. Let's go around and do our edges right now. Just one little corner that doesn't have paint, but I'll just make sure. Pretty. I love it. Let me lift it up and show you. Isn't that gorgeous? So pretty. So I'm not seeing much of the brulee. That will have to come in a different, uh, different color combination. This is so pretty. I think I want to do just a little bit more breaking up of these plain areas. This is so pretty. Uh. Nice. All right, we're going to do another one. Love it. Let me get this one out of here. But so you can see, this is why I always say thicker pillow is best. That is a perfect example. Now let's try doing one, but not the radial look. We're going to just do it in a center blob. Get that out of the way. I'm not going to waste it. We'll use it on here. And we need 
need to add a little bit more. I'm going to stick with the same pillow. Yeah, it kind of looks like the pillow has divided a little bit. It's probably been sitting too long and needs to be shaken up. But we will make it work. So we're going to do the pillow right in the center. Now you can see, so this is a perfect tutorial for when your pillow is too thin. Look at that color spreading already. So that's showing that your pillow is not holding up your paints, your colors. It's spreading at a much more alarming speed. And when it doesn't hold it up, it's, uh, you're going to blow down through to your pillow. When you do blow, you're going to have all sorts of issues. And I'm leaving out the brulee because that didn't didn't end up doing a darn thing in that painting just because of the way that I layered it. Not because it's not good, but because I didn't do it right. Let's get that back to the center. And see what's happening? My cell activator is not wanting to move. It's that stuck situation that I had when I first began. I spent a long time trying to figure out why that was doing that. And I know that it's because my pillow was too thin. My original can of pillow paint, I got it. Oh, hold on. I'm going to be dragging my little strings on the neck of my shirt through my paint. So when my original first can of paint, it seemed so thick to me. And I thought, I cannot use this. I have to thin this out. So I added some water to it. And then it was thin and I had it, you know, it was a brand new can. So I, had, I was dealing with that can of paint from my pillow for so long. And I was not having success with my blooms until one day I tried a thicker paint and boy the difference and that's when it became clear that that's what it was so don't think that your pillow is too thin it's too thick it's not the thicker the better and i think we'll do one more video since this has kind of come into a pillow tutorial here it's going to be a good example i'm going to do one more video uh one more tile and show you the results with a thicker pillow and then we'll see the difference oh i want to modify let's try something different let's try little wisps just coming out See how that works. Well, I like this.
Okay, back to the center. And we're going to spin. Making sure my spinner's on there, right? So, what you can see also is you get a little bit of um, your cells look a little bit cloudy. They're not cloudy. What do I want to say? Fuzzy, I guess. So, some of these in here are fuzzy and they are not spreading out to the edges. Definitely not. So, this is why you need a thicker, stretchy pillow. This is pretty, don't get me wrong. Very pretty. It's just not, oh, look at that. I love that look of those wisps coming out. That's really sharp. It's a cool way to modify. But I think you can see the, the cells are kind of, what do I want to call them? Not crisp, not sharp. They're kind of um, muted. Not, not, that's not a word either. But um, yeah, not crisp. So, okay, let's get this one off of here. And then I will show you the same with a proper pillow. And you'll see the difference for sure. Okay. Oh, I love this color combination though. Really sharp. Okay, last but not least, proper pillow. Doesn't matter about these, uh, about this thinner paint being on here because when we put the thicker one on top it'll be fine so this is oh, i gotta work to get these open sometimes they get stuck this is ppg multi pro now you're gonna see how much thicker it is look at that It's going to appear to move a little faster because it's moving on that thin paint, but it is way thicker. So now we're going to do the same thing. Now watch our inner circle of colors. Do you see? They're not going anywhere. It's moving a little bit, but... Not like the last one. I love this cuneg with the um, the teal colors. It's always really pretty. Yeah, this is going nowhere. Staying put. And I think I'm going to do just another little drizzle of the Thalo turquoise so my cell activator has something to sit on top of, a paint. Here we go. Yes, look at how much nicer that below is.
Now I'm going to show you what you can do if you feel you have too much cell activator and you want to get rid of some of that. Just take your finger, tap it into there, and pick some of it up and wipe it onto paper towel do you see how much crisper the cells are how we have less pillow paint showing um, you know I didn't blow down through to the pillow quite as much and the cells are just very crisp and striking and not um, not spreading so it's nice so putting your finger down there like that is um is much better done on a swipe where you get those big globs of cell activator you you really don't want to disturb the center of your bloom but it works on a bloom too, either way. Just a little tip that you can use to get rid of some of that overwhelming black. I did that side. Let's come over here, add a little more here, and add a little more here to help it over the edge. This is stunning. The Q-Nag is showing through there. So that is the example of the perfect example of thick pillow versus thinner pillow. You want a thicker pillow for a bloom. For sure. I'm debating if I want to modify it after the fact. I think I want to tip it a little. I find that yellow we have interesting. It, uh, it actually, I don't know why that yellow is there. Something mixed with something, but if the turquoise and the yellow are going to mix, they're going to make green so I don't know where that color came from but it's pretty it just goes to show you never know what you're going to get you'll also notice our paint is not spinning off all over the silicone mat Ready. I'm going to spin it some more. I'm going to see if I can get those cells to go that way a little bit. I actually think I had a little bit of condensation come out of my turkey, uh, turkey baster and onto the painting. Because that one little spot I was touching seems very liquid. That's probably what happened. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, this, this deserves to be done on a big canvas. Would this not be beautiful hanging on a wall? I think it would. 
My wall is screaming for this color combination. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Let me give you a close-up here. How pretty is that? We've got uh, we've got peacock cells. That's where you get more than one color in a cell. Just beautiful. So I hope you learned something. Uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. Um, take a look at my description box. There's all kinds of helpful little information in there. And also at the beginning of the video, you will notice um, a recipe card. Those are the recipes that I use. You can pause the video. You can screenshot that. You can print it out and use it if you like. So I hope you find that useful. Okay, everybody. We will see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.